Hello everyone, welcome to a new video from Techosa. You might be watching this video in your smartphone, right? Then how did you open this video? You might have simply touched on the video to play it, right? Actually, you interact with a touchscreen monitor constantly throughout your daily life. You will see them in smartphones, ATMs, ticket winding machines, manufacturing plants and so on. So in this video, we will look at the working of a touchscreen. Before going deep about touchscreens, let's have a look at the history of touchscreens. The first touchscreen was invented by E. A. Johnson in 1965. This display hadn't gained much popularity until 1970s. By 1970, Dr. Sam Hayes in his experiment about atomic physics had used some electricity conducting paper which further created the first computer touchscreen. Further developing a new technology, scientists at the University of Toronto invented the first multi-touch display in 1980s. As for the very first touchscreen cell phones, they came out a little later in the 90s. Okay, so what actually is a touchscreen? As we all know, a touchscreen is a computer display screen that is also an input device. The screens are sensitive to pressure. A user interacts with the computer by touching pictures or words on the screen. But is the touchscreen that you use in an ATM the same as the touchscreen of your phone? Well, not really. This means that there are different types of touchscreens. So let's have a look at the different type of touchscreens and its working. Resistive touchscreen Resistive touch is today's most widely used touch technology. A resistive touch screen monitor is composed of a glass panel and a film screen, each covered with a thin metallic layer separated by a narrow gap. When a user touches the screen, the two metallic layers make contact, resulting in electrical flow. The point of contact is detected by this change in voltage. And in this type of touchscreen, you can even touch the screen with pen, stylus, cloud hands, etc. But the cones are, they have lower image quality than other technologies and we cannot use two fingers to zoom. Also, it is vulnerable to damage from scratching. And they are used in GPS, printer, digital cameras and in large displays. Capacitive touchscreens Capacitive touchscreens are the second most popular type of touchscreen. In a surface capacitive touchscreen monitor, a transparent electrode layer is placed on the top of a glass panel. This is then covered by a protective cover. When an exposed finger touches the monitor screen, it reacts to the static electrical capacity of the human body. Some of the electrical charge transfer from the screen to the user. This decrease in capacitance is decreased by a sensor located at the four corners of the screen, allowing the controller to examine the touch point. Surface capacity touchscreens can only be activated by the touch of human skin or by a stylus holding an electrical charge. All smartphones, tablets, touchscreen laptops use capacitive type of touchscreen. Now let's look at the difference between resistive and capacitive touchscreens. The advantages of resistive touchscreens are they are inexpensive, better resistance to dust and water and can be used with gloves. And their disadvantages are they have low touch sensitivity, unable to support multi-touch, also poor visibility in sunlight. Capacitive touchscreens they have higher touch sensitivity, supports multi-touch, good visibility even in sunlight. And their disadvantages are they cannot be used with most blouses and are more expensive, does not work well with pointed objects. Infrared touchscreen Infrared touchscreen monitors do not overlay the display with an additional screen. 
Instead, infrared monitors use IR emitters and receivers to create an invisible grid of light beams across the screen. This ensures the best possible image quality. When an object interrupts the invisible infrared light beam, the sensors are able to locate the touch point. The X and Y coordinates are then set to the controller. They have high clarity, unlimited touch light, also multi-touch and palm rejection capability. Ultrasonic touchscreens Ultrasonic touchscreen monitors utilizes a series of piezoelectric transducers and receivers. These are positioned along the sides of the monitor's glass plate to create an invisible grid of ultrasonic waves on the surface. When the panel is touched, a portion of the wave is absorbed. This allows the receiving transceiver to locate the touch point and send this data to the computer. SAW monitors can be used by fingers, gloved hands or by soft tip stylus. SAW monitor offers easy use and high visibility. The technology is growing faster. Most people do not realize how widely used touchscreens are. In fact, nowadays it's hard to find a field that doesn't make use of them. Airplanes, stores, banks, schools, universities, hospitals, etc. use touchscreens. Every electronics that we use nowadays are updated with new features. Now we have touchscreen laptops, touch enabled smart cars, smart watch, smart refrigerator and so on. Today, one of the most innovative invention called touchpoint can turn any surface into a touchscreen. This even includes surface not conventionally suited for the technology. This technology can even work on ceramic, metal, plastic and even in wood. Can you imagine a slab of wood as a touchscreen? In the future, you would be able to use a touchscreen without touch. Yes, the future of touchscreen is touchless. You would use gestures to interact with devices. Can't wait for the future, right? So that's it for today's session. Hope this video was informative for you. As always, if you have any doubts and queries regarding this session, feel free to ask it in the comment section below. So see you all in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.